Hello everyone and welcome to a Blender and Unity tutorial series. So this is going to be a mini series, only going to be two parts. And in this one I'm going to make a TV So and use it in Unity. So in the first one I'm going to model it in Blender and then in the second one I'm going to import it into Unity to display and I'm going to put some video on the TV so that you can see in game mode. So let's just get into it. So first it's an empty scene, there's nothing here. So go into front view, shift A, mesh and the cube. So now you've got the cube right in the middle. So I'm I'm gonna change its vertices. So one vertex selection going to side view three A and just drag it into so that it starts at here and it goes up and in the front view just drag it right here. So this is where it is. This is where we want it. So going to side view. Now I've looked up dimensions of a TV, it's going to be 70 inch, so the dimensions of a 70 inch TV are the depth, the depth which is this side, which is going to be this way, is, it says 7.4 centimeters. so first I'm going to do is, I'm going to G-Y all these vertices, the back ones, for the four back ones, drag them to zero, and then G-Y, and then 0 0.07, so what it does is, first I drag them back to zero, and then from that point, I put 7.4 centimeters towards the y area, y axis on the y axis. So what I did there is create this shape. Let's check it out. F from a cube, it's gone down to this. So front view, edit, y frame mode. So, so what I'm going to do is the height. The height of the TV is 90.4 centimeters. So the same thing as before. Select the top four, G, and Z. And drag them down, down to zero and then GZ and then it says 90.4 so 0 0.9 centimeter so this is what it looks like right now once again do the same thing from the sides let's select these four GX drag them to zero GX and it says 157 so I'm going to just do 1.5 uh, 1.5 meters so this is what it looks like right now TV so the next thing you have to do is <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, brother. I'm gonna add a because it, uh, right now it's 3D bland. So if I was to let's say go to front view, subdivide, or let's just do inset and separate it, and or oh, sorry, drag it back. This is what it's gonna look like. So it looks really bad. It's too sharp. So the thing that I'm gonna do is right now is everything's clear. So go into object mode. Select the cube and add a modifier. The modifiers are in this red shape tab. Add a modifier subdivision surface. Now it's been deformed very badly, I know. But uh, just select here, go into tab view, ta uh, pre press tab to go into edit mode, press A, and then right click, subdivide, subdivide, subdivide. Keep doing that. Or just do it about this one, and then we can ourselves modify the edges so what I'm going to do is so what this does is it, it uses more vertices to stretch or well, so let's just see what, what I'm going to do control R over here <coughs> it's going to add a loop cut and then just drag that towards just about the end about here so to so just just to keep three units from the end and the same thing over there so that we can just Okay, so that's what it looks like right now. Okay. And if you were to shade smooth, this is what it's going to look like. What? And from the top as well, let's just add another one. That's possible. Now let's just do the front one first. So we have the this loop and this loop. What I'm going to do is add another one right here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Let's just keep that four. So um, remember, when I'm using this, I'm using control to uh, do it in increments. So go over here. Zero. One, two, three, four. So that's it. This is what it looks like right now. So what we can do also is to make it more. Right now, as you can see, it's a bit. It's a bit edgy so let's just shade flat 
going to add a a and then maybe subdivide once more and now you'd see that it's a lot more sharper and if you shade smooth this is what it looks like this looks nice i think i'm going to use this one so right now i'm just going to save it once more so now go into the edit um edit mode and then from here let's just select all these outer ones should i think we should add these ones as well so how would i go about doing that oh this edge selection sorry face selection go into face selection with three and select all these faces so now that we've got all these faces p selection let's just call this uh, let's just call this the plastic and this one display screen so that we can tell what is going on or, or what we can do is to make it easier so now we have the the whole thing is selected and then going to side view uh, yeah let's keep it like that around here and then gy and then let's drag it back a bit so inch make sure that is out of the so this is what it looks like right now i know it doesn't look that good let's see what we can do so control z just drag it in and then p separate by selection so this is what it looks like now so you've got the screen and you've got the tv and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to add another screen at the front that would help with the so like basically this one is going to be the like old h bring everything back so this is going to be the display screen so this is where the material is going to come and the front screen is just like you know your phone has two screens and everything like that. the front screen the protective let's just call it the protective screen i don't know what the proper term for it is but let's just keep it like that and go to select it select this one edit mode press one to go into the vertex selection we'll just do that so that it's easier to see the vertices so which one is it that we need the one that is making the like the circular edge sorry i think it's this one right yeah so select this one bring over here alt select it's going to select the loop the loop is selected so what we can do is press f no that looks too bad <laughs> or instead of doing that let's just copy it like just drag it out control uh, con shift d and then on the y axis just bring it out a bit and this one as well let's just g y all the vertices roughly around maybe here this is what it looks like so this is the so this is the protective screen inside it is the other screen like the one that is going to display or emit and this is the cover so let's just bring everything back and maybe shade everything smooth let's see how the, that's going to look shade smooth shade flat shade flat looks bad for this one but shade smooth so this is what the tv is looking like right now so what we can also do is uh let's apply all the let's let's apply all the uh, the subdivision ones let's just rename them first this is the plastic which one is this let's see so this is the outer one this is going to be let's just say screen and the inner one let's just say let's just call it display screen so this is the object that we have now and it, what i was thinking of doing was joining the vertices but that would take that would take too much time like for example this one so for example if you were to join this with the outer screen let's just say Control j you join them together and essentially what you have to do is this one with the screens one i don't know where that is so so for example there are two vertices here one for the 
one for the screen and one for the uh, uh, for the plastic and instead of just joining them together what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it alone because that's gonna, because you'll have to do that for the whole thing so each one one two three like you have to do them individually because you're merging them so you'll have to do it across the whole thing and down and left and up so that's going to take a bit more too much time let's just see how it looks if it's done so going to wireframe M at center let's see it's, can you see it looks bad as well it doesn't look that good I mean if you were to maybe drag it in a bit I think I'm just gonna leave it not not merge it just leave it like that let's see this one let's just merge it this is what it looks like it looks bad so let's just control z control z control z until there are two objects why is it not working okay so now we've got two objects so the plastic the screen and the uh, display screen i've got three more three now so what we can what, we, what i'm going to do is i'm going to select all of them and i'm going to apply the modifier apply this subdivision modifier so i'm going to sh show you what the subdivision modifier does you have the screen right so right now these are the number of vertices can you see like one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen rough uh, seventeen i don't know I'll, maybe i've messed up counting anything now if i apply this modifier we're starting this multiply them together when like it's double or triple i don't know i think it's double the previous one so it's made more of these so that you can you have more detail to work with the more vertices there are the more details you have the more you can deform it do you understand if you can understand I don't know. anyways so now we've got this object so what i'm going to do is i'm going to add some materials so for the plastic i'm going to add just let's just call it plastic plastic for the outer screen i'm just going to add a glass so it's going to be transparent so that you can see the inner screen so for this one the display screen i'm going to add let's just call it emissive because in this one uh, i'm just going to make these three ones so so the, for the plastic go over here uh base color let's just drag it down to black it's completely black right now anyway so for the let's up the metallic and up the roughness so this is what it's going to look like going to render and select cycle the cycle looks better it's renders better as well and what i'm going to do is let's just add uh, let's just add the materials for the other ones and then you can render it anyway so this is what the other one glass so go over here instead of principled select glass bdsf and that's it for this one for the third one the display screen go into principle go down here emission up this and let's just make it a bit blue so we've got the materials done for this let's just look what it looks like that's what it looks like so if i was to up the strength there's also emission strength that's what it is but you can see it's emitting way more now let's just keep it maybe three i don't know let's see what so now before going into render let's just add some environment stuff so let's just put a light area light g z drag it up g x drag it in here somewhere and let's just bring it back a bit g y and then control uh, remember i'm al also using control most of the time so that it does it in increments and it doesn't look it doesn't do it really so up the power to a thousand now we need a camera yeah a camera alt r is going to put the camera rotations at zero g x drag it roughly around here g y bring it back r x oh sorry g z let's just bring it up a bit and r x let's just say 90 so this is what the cam this is inside this area is what the camera is seeing so let's just bring the camera back a bit g y and g z let's just bring it right about in the middle i'm just using g right now so that, so that i can see like ease easier 
so if in the front view it's easier to do that so let's just see what this is what it's going to look if i render it right, right now so so to go into camera view press zero on the numpad zero uh, on the numpad uh, and this is what it does so now we've got the light the camera the tv screen so this is what it looks like can you see the emission that the it's not the glass that is emitting the glass is transparent that's why you can see the screen behind us so if you change the color let's call it let's give it a red color this is what it looks like i'm just going to keep it about right like this maybe and now i'm going to add some planes let's just add a plane scale it press s to scale and add another plane g y bring it back over here r x 90 put it, put it like that and then s let's just take 10. so this is what it looks like right now and so the light is giving some shadows and yeah so this is what it looks like right now maybe i should add some material for the planes as well i don't know let's just render it first so go to render the render tab render properties I'm going to select a low render because it takes too long to render for me. So render at 64, denoising, go on render, and then press F12 on the layer. And then go on the game, on the view. So it's going to take some time to render. And, and this is going to take some time. So let's just wait for a bit. So it says it's going to take about 26. No, sorry, the remaining time is two minutes. So yeah, let's just let it render. Oh, I'm gonna basically I've done with I'm done with the whole thing. So I'm just gonna save it, and then I'm gonna show you the render in the next video, and I'm gonna import it into Unity and stuff like that. So yeah. I'm going to see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.